Hey everyone, so today I wanted to do an updated planner setup video and yes, I am back in my pocket size Filofax Croc. Um, those of you who have been watching know that I was trying out the Louis Vuitton A5 agenda, the GM size, and I loved it a lot and I loved all the extra space, but it just wasn't practical for me. Um, to take it around with me because I do carry my planner with me everywhere and it was just kind of a little bit too much planner for me I had a lot of extra space and I figure if I don't need that much extra space then why not go down to, to a smaller size and I was going to try the Louis Vuitton um, MM size which is the personal size and I don't know, I just went to the pocket size. Ever since I went into the pocket size, it's just something, it's just a size that I really love. It's very portable and I don't know, I think I'm a pocket size planner girl now. So I did go into the Louis Vuitton PM size, the pocket size for a little bit and I decided to move back into my Filofax just because it gave me so much extra space because in my Louis Vuitton PM agenda, I did switch the rings to the 16 millimeter um, rings and it did help a lot, but I still was sacrificing some stuff because of space. And here in my Filofax Croc, it holds everything that I need plus a little bit more. So I'm really happy in this planner right now. So I wanted to show you guys how I set it up, there are a few new things. So um, those of you who don't know this, I'm sure almost all of you know this planner, but this is the pocket size croc. Here's how it looks at the top and the side. And here's how I set it up. So right in the inside, I don't keep anything right now in this pocket or in this zipper pocket. Um, in the comments below, if you guys use, if you have this planner and you use these pockets, let me know what kind of things you keep in there because I just don't know what I want to put in there right now. So right now they're empty. And then I have this dashboard, which many of you have seen before. Um, over the dashboard is this um, clear dashboard here, like a frosted one from Sessa V. And um, I just use it there to protect my dashboard. And this is just a picture, a photo of the actual vision board I have hanging above my desk. I have this little clip here that I got um, in Happy Mail with this Croc planner because I bought this pre-loved off of another planner girl here in the planner community and she sent a few extras with it and this paper clip was one of them. So, um, a lot of you know that I keep my goals in the front, but I changed it up a little bit, um, you might notice. So one thing that I changed is before the, I used to only utilize this size, side of the page, so this was usually like blank. But now what I like to do is put them over a two um, page spread. So I have my top three goals here, which is my health, my family, and the planner spot. And then what I decided to put on this side is a, bucket list and I haven't filled this in because I just printed these out I don't know earlier this week I think and um, I want to just write these in things that I want to accomplish um, before the year ends so this is these are like my top priorities and then these would just be miscellaneous stuff that I want to accomplish this year so I'm going to fill that out and then I typed it in this time which has its pros and cons. I used to write it all in and then if I needed to change it, um, I would just simply erase it and then rewrite it in, which was convenient, but I really like the look of it typed out. So I don't know, I have it typed out now. We'll see how long it lasts because I'm always kind of like adjusting my goals and stuff. So right now I have it typed out. And then the next page is my monthly tasks. So these um, are all my recurring monthly tasks for personal, um, the planner spot, work, finances, and then home. And if you can see here, I wrote this in because I added this in after I printed this out. And I also have this little sticky notes. I added this in. So every month when I do my personal calendar, these are the kinds of things I put on my calendar that's here in my um, planner because my regular appointments and meetings and stuff just go in my phone. 
The next um, pages are the weekly tasks. So here, this is actually printed on here. It looks like a sticky note, but it's printed here. This is every week when I plan. Um, this is what I go, this is like the process I go through, like my calendar, my phone calendar, my family dates, shows, mail, blah, 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 etc. And then I added this for the summer because I want to schedule play dates each week for my daughters so they don't go crazy over the summer. So I just have this on a little sticky note that I got from one of those, I think it's the Happy Planner like sticky note sets from Michaels. And so yeah, these are my recurring weekly tasks. So I have what I would do every day and then the stuff I do on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, all the way through Sunday. And I do use this every single week when I plan. I use this as a guide to plan my week. And then as you can see here, I had to white out some stuff and write it in with, um, by pen because things are always changing. I'm always tweaking stuff. Then the next set of pages are my daily schedule and I already had to change this because something just came up in my schedule um, that will happen on a daily basis so I had to change this all up. But basically this is my ideal schedule that I try to follow and I don't, I rarely follow it 100% but I strive to and then I just have a little sticky note here for like daily chores for me and my family. And then here is my like 2018 at a glance and I have this as a free printable on my website. I didn't mention these goal sheets are also a free printable on my website but it's the old version. I'll try to upload on this version if you're interested in it but the older version doesn't have it across two pages it just has it on one page and they're just blank of course it's not typed in so you can fill in your own stuff. So those pages and this is, um, they are free printables on my website, theplannerspot.com. And here I just track like my menstrual cycles and some like days off for work. And then on this sticky note, I'm just tracking some things about my daughter's school and a miscellaneous just note to keep track of for the year. So the next page I have is my monthly. Oh, so here's something new I have. These dividers at the bottom, these are from Sesave and they're actually, you know, I mean, a lot of people just use it as a top divider, but I just flip it around and I use it as bottom dividers because I have these top dividers which are also from Sesave. And so just to keep it separated, I, ha I bought these page markers. I use it as dividers for my monthly weekly and daily um, sections. So that's something new here. And so these page markers are from Sesave, but these stickers are from Ink by Jing. Um, I'll link all the shops down below, but um, she has these clear stickers. Um, and so they fit perfectly here on these page markers. So this is my month. This is June. Um, I keep going back and forth if some of you guys might notice to keeping it bare minimum to adding stuff like bills and stuff. I decided I want to go back to bare minimum. I just don't like it too cluttered. So basically like what I have, what do I have it here? The only things I will put on my monthly spread are birthdays, holidays, in services from, for my girls school breaks for my girl's school, my husband's travel, and any important dates like, you know, like for instance here, my daughter has a dentist appointment at the end of the month and the reason why I don't normally put doctor's appointments but I need to prep her for that because she's only five and she's scared of the dentist so I need to kind of put a reminder there. So those are the kinds of things I keep on my monthly spread. So here I just have like the last day of school, um, a camp my girls are going to, Father's Day, dentist appointment. Here I have the sticker from um, Once More With Love. She It's from her set of, I think, planner convention sticker set, like on a half sheet page. It's really fun to, to get you excited throughout the year for an upcoming like planner conference or any kind of conference. So. This month, I bought my PlannerCon tickets, PlannerCon San Francisco 2019. And these stickers here are from my June sticker kit in my shop, as well as this is just one of the functional stickers I have in my shop, this one too. And so yeah, that's how June looks like. Very, you know, um, minimal 
and it's still useful to me. I like this spread because when I'm planning my weeks or whatever, I look here to see things that are coming up just as far as important dates and stuff. So after that, I have these inserts which are from Peanuts Planner Co. And I believe I kind of, it had like a side thing here and it had a left side page, but I only use this part. And so I cut off the little side fold out here because I didn't need it for this purpose. And so you can look for it. I'll try to link it below. Um, I will definitely link her website down below, but I'll try to remember to link this particular insert in case you're interested but I use this for forward planning so I have July through December here and basically it's the same thing it's just birthdays days off any important dates and I keep it plain and simple until the month comes and then I'll decorate it and make it look nice like this so yeah so I have through December of 2018 and then here this um, Insert is also from Peanuts Planner Co. And I use it for my 2019 forward planning. So I already have dates here, mostly for my daughter's school stuff um, for 2019. And then here is my weekly section. And this insert is also from Peanuts Planner Co. And let me zoom out here a little bit. Um, so the way I use this, this is actually a monthly um insert I use it as a weekly so in the sidebar I just put miscellaneous tasks that um, I need to do this week that I could do any of the days so I keep it here um, any errands I have to run dinners planning dinners and then this first row I use as things happening that day like it was a pirate it was pirate's day at my daughter's school or someone's birthday or dates like date night and stuff like that reminders and then this second row is any appointments, meetings, timed things. This row is um, the planner spot stuff. This row is personal stuff. And this row is work stuff. And then I don't work, typically don't work on the weekend. So I just put a little simply gilded washi tape here to cover Saturday and Sunday. And then the bottom row is where I put little things like happy mail, TV shows. And that's mainly it, what I put there. So I really like this. So when I plan my week, I plan it all out on here. And that's how I start. And then I plan day by day as the day comes. So that's the weekly. And then here I just have a thin um, divider from Sesame. It was a set of black side tab dividers. And I actually got an extra one by accident. It was I think it was probably stuck together. So all I did was cut off the tab and I stuck um, a pen loop thing here and I use that for my friction pen so yeah that's just there I like these because they're really thin so they don't bulk up my planner too much because I like you know I stuff it with all the inserts so yeah I just have my pen there and then the next section is my daily section so what I always have here is this um, fold out and I kind of changed it up so if you've seen this before this sidebar thing I changed it up a little bit so what I did was I attached it to the Monday daily insert so this is actually just one page before it used to be like its own page with the daily insert separate so I attached it just to Monday and then so when you go through the days sorry this was um I was testing this so that's why it's kind of out of order but the days are like this and then you'll always have um, the sidebar here showing and I only put a week's worth of daily inserts in here so let's go to yesterday Friday so here um, I like to put a little deco here because I don't use much deco in my planner just here and there so this is a spot where I like to put like a full box and then um, the focus for this week or the, a main focus for this week and a main focus for next week or things coming up to remind me to keep it on my radar and then here is where I like to put my schedule and here is where I like to put my to do's um, all these stickers are from my shop or sticker my sticker kits this is stickers from my shop and this sticker is from Digi Kiki DJ 
Digi Kika or something um, on Etsy and I'll link her below. And this insert is not, this insert or set of inserts is not yet available, but I do plan to make it available as a printable in the printable shop. And then this side, I like to just put miscellaneous notes on that side. So yeah, like I said, I have, I usually have one week's worth, so through Sunday. And then going to my divider section, again, like I said, these dividers are clear frosted dividers from Sesa V. And this first section is my personal section. Um, I keep, um, I track my Happy Mail here and I just created these. This is actually a free printable on my website. It was the first Friday freebie for June. And so you just get your own sticky notes and you run it through the template that I provide and it will make this Happy Mail template on any sticky note you put through the printer. And so I just track my Happy Mail here, what's what I expect to be coming and when it should be coming. Just miscellaneous notes. And then this is something I'm super excited about. So this insert is from Peanuts Planner Co. And I believe it also had fold out on both sides but I cut it off because I didn't really need those um, at this point so um, what I use this for and I use it in each section is project planning and this is brand new I've never used this before so this is something new that I'm sharing with you guys and I really love it a lot so for my personal project my current personal project is planning out the summer for my girls so they don't go crazy and they're not bored so what I have here is just laid out the month of June, July, and August. And I just put any things that I need to note, like last days, camp, Father's Day, and you know, we're going to amusement park and stuff like that, just so I know it's there, and then I plan around that. So here's some ideas of things that I'm gonna plan. Like here is activities, and this sticker is from Once More With Love. I thought it was cute because I have two girls and I like to think that that's them playing and having fun. So I'm starting to list some ideas of what they can do for the month of June for activities, like swim, maybe swim lessons, the Michaels Camp Creativity, $1 movies at our local theater, and then, you know, I'm just trying to gather some ideas of stuff they can do, and then, my me and my um almost 10 year old daughter want to i'm mean, she's getting into harry potter finally and so we're gonna have like we're gonna go through the whole series of movies so you know maybe once a week we're gonna have a movie night and watch these so i listed those out here so we could check them off as we watch them and then down here is where i'm gonna track my girls summer work because they do have summer work still so i broke down how much work they have like for instance they have to read or she has to read um one book each month or so so what i broke it down to is to finish the three books before school starts again she has to read two chapters a day so each day i would mark it off and this, this is grayed out because we won't start until the 18th because they have camp and stuff and so same thing with like their um that's like reading, um, math lessons and flashcards and stuff like that. So each day they need to do this set of things and I'll check it off here. So I really love that a lot to track it for the whole month. So the same thing for July, um, they will be doing it every day of July for the most part. And so I'll check it off as they do it here, some ideas for activities, and then we'll probably carry Harry Potter over to this section cause we probably wouldn't finish it all in June. And then August, same thing. This is great off because that's when they're going to be back at school. So we only have these days. Um, I'm trying to still fill in activities for them to do. And yeah, so I really, really love these inserts so much. Again, from Peanuts Planner Co. And then I go into other um, projects like working on my finances. This is forward planning. So like, for instance, in May... I started doing summer plans and summer homework, like planning it out. This month in June, we're planning to rent a beach house, so I'm trying to plan that out. So each month, I only started this month, that's why these are blank, but each month I will, I have a project that I should be working on, like planning birthdays and holidays and stuff. 
And then this um, insert I created just for myself for personal use is like finances. So I have each week when, you know, we get paid by Etsy, um, I have like a set of things I have to pay for or put aside. So I used to write it over and over again each week. So what I decided to do was print it out so I don't have to keep writing it over and over. And I covered it because obviously there's personal financial information, but it's like what I currently have in my account, some things I have to deduct and add and whatever, and then the balance at the end. So like each... I have four weeks here and each week diff is pretty much the same but then differs a little bit like here let's say Apple bill and here's AdSense revenue and here is saving so the top part is mostly the same with and then the bottom part change varies from week to week a little bit and then I had to um, track some fundraising and volunteer hours for my daughter's school so I keep that in there this is just a running like brain dump to-do list, um, home projects, family dates, dates with my husband. I'm starting to, I'm just barely starting to compile a list of ideas of things we can do. Dinner ideas, pickup ideas, books to read, and movies to watch, and shows that I'm um, watching right now or trying to get through. And that's it, some blank paper here. And then the next section is the planner spot. So here I just have some ideas of what I could do for like Instagram ideas. And then here is just kind of like ideas of how I can like this, a schedule for blog posts, new releases, special projects and videos. I'm still working on this, so it's not set in stone. I'm kind of playing around with it. So this is kind of like guidelines. And then here's where I actually plan it out. So here is again that insert from Peanuts Planner Co. And here's where I would plan out like these things. These are just vague ideas like tips. But then here I would say what tip I'm going to blog about on this certain week, you know. So I kind of covered it because I wanted, you know, some stuff to be a little bit of a surprise. Or like if I don't end up doing that particular thing, I don't want you guys to be disappointed. So I covered it right now. And then here I am using this section for the two main tasks or projects that I have for the month of June. So I need to get my business stuff together. And so I have this and the sticker is from, I believe it's Pigeon Paper Co. I'll link it down below. This is just a sticker from one of my sticker sheets because I'm doing some rebranding, which you might have started noticing pop up a little bit. And then here is just daily things I need to do for like social media or messages I get like Etsy messages and YouTube and Instagram and stuff just to check it off because there's so much to keep track of sometimes I forget or you know I skip one and so here's a good way to just as I do it I check it off to make sure I'm getting to everyone's messages so I only do one month at a time for the planner spot just because there's so much going on and things are always changing um, I like to just do one month at a time. And then here's again that important dates insert from Peanuts Planner Co. And here is where I would map out like the kit themes I'm working on each month, the first Friday treats or freebies I'm working on, and any miscellaneous projects I'd write here. So we have here through June, and then I cover it up July through December, so that could remain a little bit of a surprise for everyone. Here is a running task list. There's a private thing here, so I covered it, but this is just like a brain dump running task list. Um, video ideas, which I'm keeping a little secret, just, just so it could be a surprise, you know. Um, blog ideas. I want to start blogging more. Um, I haven't been keeping up with that very well. Sticker ideas. Um, monthly kit ideas. Inserts ideas journaling card ideas that's covered just because it's um you know like quotes and stuff that i want to keep a surprise um subscription so i am contemplating starting a sticker or a subscription package i guess it's not gonna be like a box like a physical box but a subscription each month of like stickers and a couple of other things i have in the works so 
Um, I'm, I'm looking into it. It's not 100% sure, but I, I really would like to do this. So I'm gathering my ideas here. So keep, or uh, stay tuned for that. Some pr other product ideas that I have. Polls. So sometimes, um, people ask me to bring this, you know, type of insert or sticker to the shop, or they like their inserts Sunday through Saturday instead of Monday through Sunday and stuff like that. And so um, I write a note here to bring it to a poll to see what the majority likes because I can't do everything for everyone, of course. So I like to go with majority rules. So I'll bring a poll. Like for instance, I reformatted the monthly kits. And so um, someone messaged me saying they like the old um, kit format better. And so I want to bring it to a poll soon what to see what you guys all like. Do you like the, the older um, layout or do you like the newer layout? So that's something that's coming to the Facebook group poll and Instagram poll. So I just write those kind of questions here so I could get everyone's thoughts and then maybe some ideas for upcoming First Friday freebies. And then that's it. Yeah, a bunch of extra note paper back here and then this last section here is for my work so this is where i just mark sick days holidays you know whatever notes about the time i work and then things that i just have to note down for when i'm planning out the communications for my job that's what i do communications and so again i'm using this insert from penis planner co i plan anything that have to that has to be run through our communications i put here um, a current project. I'm doing all the calendaring for all our different departments, <laughs> for lack of a better word, here. So I'm checking it off as I put it into our main calendar. And then here is just daily tasks that I need to do um, so I could check it off and not forget each day of the month. And then again, this important dates insert I use for projects. So like this month these are the things I had to keep on my radar and plan communications for and then a running task list and some note blank note paper and then this last section um, this is just some extra washi from simply gilded I like to keep extra washi strips here I actually want to order a washi card because those are so cute but I haven't done that yet so right now I'm just sticking it on the back of this divider um, just for some extra washi on the go and then I've shown this before that I have a little zip pocket from I don't remember where where is it I think Filofax and I keep extra stickers in here um, just for planning on the go and then here I just have some little decor this was like a sticker from my Simply Gilded order I ordered this die cut from my newest addiction and then here um, I have a set of sticky notes in the back pocket this pocket is from minted sugar and this sticky note set was actually longer I had a few more sticky notes but I cut it in half to be able to fit in here and these are sticky notes from um, a happy that happy planner sticky note set sold at Michael's and I like it because these are small enough for pocket size to just jot quick reminders. And this sticky note is a great size for pocket size as well. So I keep those back here. And then back here, I keep I don't have anything in this pocket yet. I was thinking when I get that washi card, I'd probably stick it back here. But right now in these um, credit card slots, all I have is this card. So I've been debating about making business cards, but I don't really pass out business cards and I don't like putting business cards in orders because I feel like the majority of my customers are repeat customers. So I, they don't need, you know, 15 of my business cards and I feel like that's a waste. So I don't put business cards and I don't really like go around town passing out business cards for my Etsy shop. But every once in a while, there is someone that inquires that I meet in real life and I never have information to give them. So I found these cards at Marshall's, I believe, and they were just blank on the back. And they were these cute, like light pink with gold foil and all this is, is oh, hello. So all I did was print stickers to stick on the back. So it just has, you know, the shop name, my name, my email and 
my website, YouTube, and Etsy shop. And so if, you know, on those rare occasions where people ask about my shop and want to know more, I can give them this card. But also if any, if I lose this planner and anyone finds it, hopefully they can grab my email off the back and let me know they found my planner. That's the hope. And then back here, oh, this is my handy dandy mild liner, gray mild liner, which I use for crossing out things once they're done. And then... In this back pocket, I don't have anything on the side. Sometimes I put random receipts in there. And then I have this notebook right here. Um, let me turn this page. Um, this is just a blank, um, what is it called? Traveler's notebook, passport size little notebook that I got from um, Mido, which is a Japanese stationery store um, local to me. And all I do here, I tore out some pages because um, I was trying to make it a little bit thinner and also I was kind of like done with those pages. But really, I would just sketch ideas here for stickers or inserts or just random notes that I just want to jot down here before I put it in my planner or put it somewhere else. So yeah, I just like to keep an extra notebook um, here in this pocket and it fits very nicely right back there. It's, you have to get the passport size of the traveler's notebook and it fits nicely in that back pocket. So yeah, that's it. That's my current setup. I'm so happy. I was kind of, <laughs> to be honest with you guys, I was nervous to let you guys know I was back in the pocket size because I feel like I only used the A5 size for like two to three weeks and you know, I felt silly moving back so soon after I had just filmed a setup video for the A5, but I think most of you guys know where I'm coming from and we're always trying to find that planner piece. And I do feel like I'm most happy in the pocket size and I really love the setup right now. So I was thinking each month I will give you a more detailed, like week by week, a more detailed way of how I plan my month my day and my week and then also maybe once a month an update of any new inserts I added to the planner or any new or any changes that I make to my setup I thought I, I think that's the most popular videos I have is you guys like to see how I set things up and what new stuff I put in here so yeah um that's about it if you have any questions leave it in the comments below and I hope you enjoyed this video and I will talk to you next time bye